everyone. Welcome back to another lesson with us here at English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. And today we're going back to school. That's right. We're talking about my least favorite subject. <laughs> that would be math. That's right. Okay, so we're going to be talking about math now. I know that many of you, of course, know math. Right. But do you know the operations in English? Many people find it hard to find the right words to talk about math in English. Right. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. And we'll also look at some names that you can call people who are really, really, really smart. <laughs> so let's listen to our dialogue for the first time, and then we'll come back and look at those math words. All right, children, let's review. Tommy, pay attention. Sorry, Miss Cadlick. Okay, Crystal. Now tell me, what's four plus eleven? Um, fifteen. Miss Cadlick always asks Crystal. She's such a teacher's pet. Okay, and what about fifty-six minus sixty? Um, negative four. Very good. Twelve times twelve. Very good. Suck up. One forty-four. Zero divided by one. Zero. How did you know that? Okay, smarty pants. The square root of two. Bet you're not going to get that one. Do it all. Um, um, one point four, one four, two one three five. All right, so that's one smart little girl, huh? Yeah, pretty smart. Actually, smarter than me in math. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at some of those words that the teacher used to ask her about certain operations in language takeaway. Language takeaway. Okay, so like we said, you guys know how to do math and you know the words in your language, but maybe in English it's a little bit harder to find the right word. So let's look at those now. Okay, so let's look at the first question that she asked. What's four plus eleven? Four plus eleven. Okay, plus plus. All right. So four plus eleven, Erica is.、Uh, let me take a look at here. Fifteen.、Um, Fifteen. Okay. So we are adding, right? Yes. So that's how you would say. Let's go with an easy one. Two plus two. Four. Four. Right.、Yep. Or five plus five. Ten. Ten. Okay. You're really testing my skills. <laughs> so that's how you would add numbers. Now, what about taking away numbers? Okay, so taking away or subtracting. All right, let's test you again. In the dialogue, she said fifty-six minus sixty. Fifty-six minus sixty equals negative four. Okay, minus. So、mm. that's negative, right? Minus. So, and of course, if you have fifty-six apples and you take away sixty, you are left with. Negative four. Negative well, four. Well, actually, you're left with zero apples. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now that answer is also interesting. Negative four. Negative four. That means minus four, right? Four less than zero. Four less than zero. Very、mm. good. Negative four. Okay, so now for our next operation, twelve times twelve. Twelve times twelve. Twelve times twelve. Now, Marco, don't ask me the answer. <laughs> All right, twelve times twelve equals. A hundred and forty-four. Now that's multiplying, right? Or multiplication. Multiplication. Okay, so this times part is very easy to remember because, for example, four times four. You can just say four, the number four, and you add it, right? Four times. Four times. Four plus four plus four plus four. Right. So times. Times. Uh huh. Now the opposite of times. All right. The opposite of multiplication is division. Division. Okay, so in our dialogue, the teacher said zero divided by one. Zero divided by one. Zero divided by one. Any number divided by zero is zero. All right, so let's give another example. Fifteen divided by three. All right, so fifteen divided by three equals five. Five.、Mm -hmm. Exactly. So divided by. Divided by. Very good. So after division. The teacher was very impressed, and now she asked a very hard mathematical operation, especially for a girl at this age. 
The square root of two. The square root of. Square root. So let's give some examples to show what is the square root. Okay. So if I ask you the square root of nine, three, three, right? Yes. What about the square root of four? Two. Two. Okay. So now one more. The square root of sixteen. Four. Four.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So you notice the pattern, right? And I'm sure everyone knows this in their own language. How you would get a square root? Exactly. So this language、um, is pretty simple. You all know it in your own language, but let's hear it again in English one more time with the dialogue. All right, children. Let's review. Tommy, pay attention. Sorry, Miss Cadlick. Okay, Crystal. Now tell me, what's four plus eleven? Um, fifteen. Miss Cadlick always asks Crystal. She's such a teacher's pet. Okay, and what about fifty-six minus sixty? Um, negative four. Very good. Twelve times twelve. Very good. Suck up. One forty-four. Zero divided by one. Zero. How did you know that? Okay, smarty pants. The square root of two. Bet you're not going to get that one. Do it all. Um. Um. One point four. One four. Two one three five. Okay. So we understand the mathematical operations that we saw here. Very easy.、Mm-hmm. But now there was another little kid in there who was very, I think, envious or jealous. Yeah, Tommy. Tommy, right?、Mm-hmm. So he called her a couple of different names. Well, let's look at those now in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. Okay, so the first one that he called Crystal, the little girl, he called her a teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. A teacher's pet. So, Erica, what exactly is a teacher's pet? It is the favorite student the teacher has in that class. All right, so it's always the student that's helping the teacher. Yeah, the smartest student. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The teacher's pet. Yeah, and it has a negative meaning in English. Yeah, I wouldn't say that it's a good thing to be the teacher's pet. Like the teacher thinks it's good. Yeah. <laughs> but all of the friends and the classmates, they think it's bad. Yeah, exactly.、Yep. Teacher's pet. And similar to teacher's pet is a suck up. Suck up. Suck up. Again, suck up. What, what is this? What is a suck up? A suck up is a person who tries really, really hard to make the teacher like him. Okay. Now we can also use it outside of the classroom, right? Yeah, at work maybe. Okay. There is always at work. There is always one person who's the suck up, right? Yes.、Um, now again, this has a negative meaning in English. Yeah, I guess in the workplace, the rest of your colleagues don't really like that person who's considered to be the suck up, who's always trying to please the boss. Exactly. All right. All right. So the teacher calls Crystal a. Smarty pants. Smarty pants. Smarty pants. Okay, so this is also a little name calling, right?、Mm-hmm. So what is a smarty pants? Somebody who is too smart. Too smart. Who tries too hard to be smart. Now this is only for little kids, right? You, I wouldn't call you a smarty pants.、Right? No, it's definitely for children. Adults don't say this. Unless maybe you are joking or,、mm-hmm. or having fun with someone. Yeah, but if you say it, you are、um, suggesting that you're being like a child. Right. Yeah. Okay, smarty pants.、Mm-hmm. And our last one, and this is also a very good phrase and a way to describe someone. Know it all. Know it all. Know it all. A know it all. Sometimes you say Mister Know It All, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So what is a know it all? Somebody who、um, tries to show everyone that they know it all. They know everything. Yeah, they're so smart. They have the answers、yeah. to everything. But they really, really try and show everyone that they know everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These people can be sometimes a little bit irritating, right? Yeah, very, very annoying. <laughs> annoying. Yeah. All right. So it's not a good thing to be a know it all all the time. Yeah. Actually, all of these phrases are not good. Things to be <laughs> okay. So let's listen to our dialogue one more time, and then we're gonna come back, and Eric is gonna tell us how much she hates math. All right, children, let's review. Tommy, pay attention. Sorry, Miss Cadlick. Okay, Crystal. Now tell me, 
What's four plus eleven? Um, fifteen. Miss Cadillac always asks Crystal. She's such a teacher's pet. Okay, and what about fifty-six minus sixty? Um, negative four. Very good. Twelve times twelve. Very good. Suck up. One forty-four. Zero divided by one. Zero. How did you know that? Okay, smarty pants. The square root of two. Bet you're not going to get that one. Do it all. Um. Um. One point four. One four. Two one three five. All right. So Erica, you were telling me that you hated math, or you still do. Well. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I, I really do hate math, and even even doing a simple,、um, you know, like sixteen plus thirty two、mm-hmm. is too hard for me. <laughs> so you were never really that type of person that's good with numbers. No, I'm terrible with numbers. I can't even remember my own phone number. Really, that's true. <laughs> like I, I really, if someone asks me for my phone number, I have to look on my phone、um, in the address book to find it. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes numbers can be difficult. I kind of liked、uh, math when I was younger. It's it, it just made sense.、Mm-hmm. So well, I guess there's a reason why I'm an English teacher and、yeah. not a math teacher. And I was actually not very good at language. But here you are. Exactly. Well, I mean, in Spanish, I, I like grammar.、I'm、oh. Not very good at that. All those rules. Yeah, but you're pretty good at English, so <laughs> that's all right. With that's me. all right. Yeah. What about you guys? Tell us what your favorite subject or your least favorite subject in school was. What about you? Do you have any favorite subject? Or did you have a favorite subject? Um, history. History. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I liked chemistry. For a oh、while. God! <laughs> Chemistry involves numbers. <laughs> well, a little bit, but、yeah. it was interesting as well. So come to the website, everyone, EnglishPod.com, and you can find lots of other resources there. And also, be sure to check out our activity stream where you can answer and. Uh, ask very quick questions depending on your level, so you can choose if you're an elementary student, then you would be talking to other elementaries. That's right. Well, thanks for downloading this lesson, and until next time, goodbye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Go over what has been learned. Review. Add. Plus. The student a teacher likes best. Teacher's pet. Take away, subtract. Minus. To multiply. Times. A person who always tries to make the teacher or boss like him or her. Suck up. Separate to some parts. Divided by. A person who tries to show he is so smart. Smarty pants. The number obtained when a number is multiplied by itself. Square root. I think something is likely to happen. I'll bet. The person claims or pretends to know everything. Know it all. A math problem where each side is equal. Equation. A mathematical process such as adding, multiplying, subtracting, etc. Operation. The process of adding a number to itself a certain number of times. Multiplication. The process of adding two numbers together. Addition. The process of taking one number away from another. Subtraction. The process of dividing something into parts. Division. Let's try that faster. The number obtained when a number is multiplied by itself. Square root. 
the process of dividing something into parts. Division A person who tries to show he is so smart. Smarty pants A math problem where each side is equal. Equation To multiply Times Take away, subtract Minus The student a teacher likes best. Teacher's pet Go over what has been learned. Review Add Plus I think something is likely to happen. I'll bet The process of adding a number to itself a certain number of times. Multiplication The person claims or pretends to know everything. Know it all A person who always tries to make the teacher or boss like him or her. Suck up Separate to some parts. Divided by The process of taking one number away from another. Subtraction A mathematical process such as adding, multiplying, subtracting, etc. Operation The process of adding two numbers together. Addition Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Plus Everyone knows that 2 plus 2 equals 4. Plus We need five tickets plus an extra one for John. Plus I have $2,000 in my bank account plus an extra 500 under my bed. Minus The ticket costs $100 minus a 10% discount. Minus I don't understand this. Do you know what 1 minus 1 equals? Minus There were five cans of tuna here minus two that I ate this morning. Where are the rest? Divided by To solve this problem, you'll need to divide the number of days in a year by the number of days worked. Divided by I weigh 140 pounds, so if I divide that by 2.2, I will know my weight in kilograms. Divided by I don't think we have enough food. We only have two pizzas and we need to divide them by 20 people. Mommy, everyone at school says I'm a teacher's pet. There was a kid that used to bring my teacher an apple every day. He was such a teacher's pet. I always hated the kid that was the teacher's pet. He would always get more attention. Suck up. We have a colleague at work who's the biggest suck up. He's Always being nice to our boss. Suck up. I hate it when someone tries to suck up to you just because you work with Britney Spears. Suck up. There is a job opening next month for a managerial position. 
I think I'm going to have to act like a suck-up to get that job.